This is the Germont British News, presenting the world to the world. Once again, the world's greatest steeplechase is almost upon us, and these flashbacks from last year's Grand National may have plenty of bearing on this year's result. First of all, let's have a look at the 1946 favourite, Mr. J.B. Rank's Prince Regent. The camera stops to highlight a fine recovery from a near stumble as the Prince clears a jump before making his big effort of the race. And here he comes, ten lengths in front of the field. Yes, it looked like a winning sprint, but did he make it too soon? Will the Prince again show this formidable pace, or will his weight be against him in the National of 1947? Leading the field for jump after jump, that gallant little Irish horse Loch Conn made a spectacular showing over nearly two-thirds of the course. Here he is again, coming round the canal turn and still leading. Disaster overtook him in the shape of a loose horse following up, and here's how it happened. If Loch Conn had avoided the gap, would he perhaps have kept his lead to the finish, and will he be luckier this year? Three runners joined in a last-minute battle, Lovely Cottage, Prince Regent and Jack Finlay, but did the two loose horses affect the finish? Here's Lovely Cottage passing Prince Regent on the right and pounding ahead to a very decisive lead. Jack Finlay overtakes the Prince, now lying second, and comes through to a stronger finish than any other horse in the race. Maybe 1947 will bring new surprises, or will these three again appear at the finish, perhaps in a different order? <laughs> 